I've just returned from the Bahamas, where I recently completed a series of undersea pictures of various fish and their natural habitats. The pictures which follow will give you an idea of my method of working. As soon as the helmet is in position, I descend the ladder while the boatman pumps me a supply of air. I descend the ladder slowly so that the change in pressure won't be too sudden on my ears and start an earache. All about me are small fish and waving sea fans. The helmet is just heavy enough to keep me on the bottom. The walking is difficult as I have very little traction and the water offers a great deal of resistance to all movement. I have to dig it, my toes into the sand and move at all. This is a school of blue striped jacks. They're extraordinarily beautiful with the sunlight playing on their sides. The sun penetrates deep into the water. I found it necessary to carry a knife at all times as protection against barracuda and sharks. Although I was not actually attacked by them, they often came close enough to make me feel very nervous unless I had this for a mild support. Small fish and coral in all directions. We tried a new stunt here, fishing underwater. The most difficult thing was baiting the hook. Once the fish was on the line, it was easy because the fish could not jump out of the water and shake the hook loose. This is a school of parrotfish. They are brilliant blue, very tame. They will come to within a few inches of my hand if I hold bait in it. Sea urchin is their favorite dish. They are not able to get at it unless it is crushed by the diver. This is a barracuda, the wolf of the Atlantic, probably the most dangerous fish for its size which swims. We have caught a shark here. In an instant, my partner, Mr. Ferguson, will be down for a tussle with it. Underneath it, you can see the shark sucker, which follows it at all times. I can assure you that Mr. Ferguson was victorious in this battle with the shark.